glad you clicked on this, but this is something that a long time ago they dropped the ball. I just might be the guy that can make a good ET game. <sighs> this is pretty much how it would go. Start off pixelated, maybe 16 bits. Beautiful, I mean, it's pretty. Just show the stars. Do the cliche, one, maybe two shooting stars. But one of those stars ends up being this ship. But now you're focused on one particular individual. And that's when you realize it's E.T. It's a cute E.T. And this is where the actual mechanics of the game start up. You learn how he moves about. You click this, he walks over there. You click that, he walks over here. It's a point and click game, which is fine. It'd be very Maniac Mansion. Because right now, you're E.T. And you just keep going farther and farther into the forest. And it gets darker and darker. I'm starting to wonder if you can find your way back. But off in the distance, you see something. It's a flicker of light. And there's another one, and another one, and another one. You hear this crunch, and thump, and stumble, and bumble. Bad things coming your way. And if that's the case, you better run. This is where you learn that E.T. might be able to pull off some type of stealth mode. Trying to get as far away from these things as possible, because they're coming up quick. They're coming up fast. All you know is a little clock starting pop up on your screen and it's counting down and as you try to stay ahead the fact of the matter is these guys have a very aggressive intent on getting a hold of you maybe they want your head on their wall so you're running you're using small bits of stealth you're ducking behind trees you're hiding under a bush you're staying as quiet as you can that is welcoming that is home and it's going away. Th this, this isn't good for you. You're, you're trapped on a foreign planet. That's when the screen pops up. Cue the digitized music. E.T. the extraterrestrial. Cut to black. Slowly fade in. Coming down in this humble little house. It's still night. Cut to inside the house. Hey, Elliot, you gonna go get that pizza or not? Suddenly you're in the feet of Elliot. And now you're roaming around the house. Most of it's blocked off. It's mostly just the kitchen, the porch, the back patio, and the yard. But that's all that matters. That's all that really matters at that point. Because you're learning Elliot's move mechanics. He he can pick stuff up, he can observe things. You know, maybe, maybe you point and click and stumble upon a baseball card of a Georgie Boy Lucas or a Stevie Spielberg. Get all these little nudges and winks because why the hell not? I mean, let's be honest. This game, even though you shoot for an E to 10, it's not for kids. Pointing and clicking, going around, seeing if Elliot's got any other little things he can do. You go down, exchange the money, you go and you bring the pizza up when suddenly there's a rustling. You go and check, rustle a bush. Quick cut scene, Elliot sees something, runs back inside. Drops the pizza and everything. Cut back to the man of the hour. Back to E.T. Now it's more of a Metal Gear type of scenario. Not, not solid, we're not going that far, we're talking classic Metal Gear. This is where more of that stealth comes into play. But you go through. You're scoping out the outside of the house, you're coming up upon things. Oh look, a fork. I don't know what a fork is, but maybe I can use that. Start stumbling upon things. 
and then Elliot comes back out. This is where the bond comes into play. You speak to each other. You learn things about one another. And that is when the bond happens. I know in the movie, the glowy finger has more prominence. It's, it's to show that empathic healing ability. This would be a quick way of going in between Elliot and E.T. So of course, morning comes, and E.T. is hungry. So, what do you feed him? Go back to point and click, but now the entire house is open, which makes it even more interesting. Go into the mom's room, hey wait, why does she keep a loaded gun? I don't know. Oh well. Can he eat toy cars? Let's find out. Now you know what he can eat. He ate that up pretty quick, like he was starving. Which means you can't just go to your ATM, pull out five bucks and get a bag of candy. But not only do you have to worry about feeding your new alien friend, you also have to worry about your bratty little sister and the older brother. You have to hide E.T. from both of them while trying to scrounge up quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, maybe even a dollar or two if you're lucky, so that you can go and get some candy. So now the next day, Elliot actually has to go to school. So what the hell is he going to do about E.T.? So what's E.T. to do? That's right, E.T. now gets to inadvertently ransack the house, try to find more items to help himself get home. To continue your point and click. A little bit here, a little bit there. Hmm, maybe this can help me. You go along. This is a little easier. You have plenty of time now. Except there's someone creeping up by the windows. Looks like one of those creatures you tried to avoid early. So you're ducking away while still checking out the house until it's time for Elliot to go home. And being the good little boy that he was at school, he gets to go trick-or-treating. This one in particular is fun because it was in the movie, so you're not shoehorning anything in. You get to do a little Halloween dress-up game. And with all the extra little snippets that you found pointing and clicking and dodging and bumping and weaving, you don't have to dress E.T. up as a little ghost if you don't want to. The point of the matter is, this is where you get to have a little bit of fun. On to the trick-or-treating, where of course, get more of that Reese's goodness, and maybe some of their other stuff. Maybe throw in some peanut butter cups. Stuff like that. Each one gives a bonus. Maybe one type of candy keeps a little sis quiet. Maybe the older brother won't beat you up if you hand over that type of candy bar. And while you're trick-or-treating, you're still stumbling upon interesting little items here and there that for some reason E.T. just knows will help him work on his communication device. And how are you going to get there? Bike mini game. It would be similar to Mock Rider. You're whipping and dipping and bobbing and weaving, dodging trees left and right. There's rodents in the area. There's rocks. And every now and again, you swear you see a flashlight go off. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. Dip, dip, whip, whip, weave, weave. Till finally, up comes that hill, up comes that hill. Oh my god, what are we going to do? E.T. makes it all fly. That's your first major money shot of the entire game. Beautifully pixelated, smooth like silk, crisp like lettuce. Now what? Well, now you have to assemble the item because obviously you had no choice. 
to assemble the item, you figure out which pieces fit best. And then you have to turn it on. Let's be honest. It'd be more fun if they didn't succeed. And maybe they got signals from other individuals. Maybe at one point you hear a... Maybe over the radio you hear... You hear some guy complaining about snakes. But now mornings come. You realize you've been out all night. Your mother, being an 80s mom, has probably called the cops on you. So now you have to race back. It's where the second bike scenario goes down. But this one's more in line with, like, paper boy. And this is more, you need to go as slow and as carefully as possible. Because you're a kid trying to be inconspicuous. So you're pedaling along, you're going through alleyways and things like that. There's cops looking for you. There's also a white van. So now you're going. You're trying to get back home. Just as you're coming over that one hill, you notice something. Your house has been quarantined. The NASA guys got there before you did. This isn't game over. So now they've got E.T. All you know is they have your friend. And you're pointing and you're clicking the whole time, trying to see if you can like swipe a key card from someone. Maybe maybe there's a maybe there's an unguarded door. I mean, you're a kid. Did they kill your mom? You don't know. You're not Spider-Man. You can't just walk up and knock someone out. But you find E.T. He's glowing red. It's that warmth. There's hope in his eyes. By this time, you've found your brother, hopefully. You take the first van you can get a hold of. You know, the one that was attached to one of those, uh, one of those quarantine tubes from the outside. You take that van and you gun it. The whole time, you're trying to shake that tube free, because there's at least three G-men on the inside of that quarantine tube trying to hang on. That way when that final peg comes out you hit that sharp corner, they go rolling. And they didn't die in the movie, so why should they die here? You might hear a chopper up top. Drop a net on you, something like that. Make it interesting. Maybe not, maybe not buy you Billy hard, but make it interesting. You reactivate that little communication device. You're having to assemble as quickly as possible while those G-men are looking for you until you find those bikes. You are doing everything you can to get E.T. home. You are ducking and dodging. You're going stealth. And the music should actually be pretty exciting at this point. The choppers are coming. There's bike officers now. And we're talking motorcycles. The FBI is getting involved. You are racing. Go excite bike if you want to. Just get E.T. home. The cutscene. When that one cop pulls that shotgun out. Like you could even make this a bonus level. Go through and actually direct the kids. Have them switch off. Go through clouds. Score extra points. Depending on how well you did and how much you point and clicked, maybe it's not a scout ship. Maybe there's a few extra things here and there. Maybe it's the whole family. Fact of the matter is, you got E.T. home. And depending on everything you've done, maybe it's just a little rescue pod. Maybe you don't know if he'll actually make it back. Maybe he did everything right and the whole family's there. Maybe it's a scout ship with just one guy and you have to practically throw E.T. onto the ship and it flies off and they're like, where are they going? But wouldn't it be better if it was that last ending? Be good. Think about some of the unlockables you might come across. 
Or maybe that little Atari sitting on top of the TV. Maybe. Maybe it's got that classic game of Alien Falls in Hole and Collects Flowers. We will try to get the top score on the leaderboards if that was the case. So that's E.T. How it really should have been done. But that's what I'm here for, isn't it? In fact, let me know what you thought. Drop a comment. But I thank you for your time. I'm me and the Torch Torchetti. The man behind the camera is Mr. Gann. We are agriculture. Get behind the tank.